Welcome to Let's Build a Wheelie's Jeep. In today's video, we are going to go over how to install your starter motor into your 1947 CJ2A Wheelie's Jeep on the Go Devil engine. And the starter motor will be installed in this location right here. It will be attached to this bolt hole on your engine block mounted to the bottom of your starter and this will be where the gears on your starter motor engage your flywheel and it will be bolted on to these two holes right here. Going over the components for this installation here we have our 12 volt starter motor this can either be a 6 volt or 12 volt depending on your Willys Jeep. We have a 12 volt conversion on our wheelies jeep so this will be a 12 volt starter motor now going over the bolts we have two grade eight three eighths inch and a quarter long with lock washers and these two bolts will be used to attach the front of our starter motor through these two holes which will be attached to the bell housing threads there is also your starter motor bracket, which will be installed onto the bracket on the rear of your starter motor. And it will be installed using this thread, which is a 5 16 fine thread, three quarter inch long bolt with a lock washer. This bracket will be attached to the hole on the back bracket here. And this bolt is your 3 8 three quarter long, bolt with a lock washer. This will thread through this hole and thread to the block on your engine. The first step is to remove any paint or grease around your bolt holes. So first we're going to remove any paint along the engine block bolt hole and the mounting plate between your bell housing and your engine and we'll use some sandpaper and get the paint off of your backing plate here because you don't want any paint and you want to ensure we have a good ground for your starter motor. I am just going to use a drill with a Dremel bit that has your sandpaper on it so I can remove the paint around those bolt holes. Sand about this much paint off and this will ensure you have a good ground on your starter motor. Ensuring there is no paint on your engine block where your bracket will meet. In addition, make sure you remove all the paint from your starter motor to engine block bracket using your sander bit. As well, make sure to remove all the paint from the bracket on your starter motor on both sides to ensure we have a good ground on your starter motor. After all the paint has been removed on your bracket, starter motor, and your engine block, now we can install our starter motor into our Jeep. The first step is to apply some multi-purpose grease to the end of our starter motor where it will ride in the starter motor bushing. In addition, apply some multi-purpose grease to the starter motor bushing that's inside your bell housing. Now we will install our starter motor bracket orientated in this direction or the L towards your bell housing and we will use our 3 8 coarse thread 3 quarter inch long with a lock washer and we will thread our bracket into the side of our engine and it will just thread in as so and we will just loosely tighten all these bolts up for now until we get the whole entire assembly together. Now it is time to install our starter motor into the starter motor bushing on the bell housing. And now we will just push our starter motor into the bell housing and we'll seat into that bushing. It may take some wheeling around 
but your starter motor should seat nicely into that bushing. And now we can bolt up our bracket and the front of our starter motor to the bell housing. Now install your 5 16 3 quarter inch long bolt fine thread with lock washer into the back side of your starter motor into the threads of your bracket attached to your engine block. And now it is time to install the bolts on the front side of your starter motor that connects your starter motor to your bell housing. And these are 3 8 fine thread, inch and a quarter long with lock washer. And they'll just be threaded into the holes that attach your starter motor to your bell housing. Once you have these two bolts threaded into the front of your starter motor, I will now torque these two bolts first so it will bring the starter motor square against your bell housing and bring it up into position. And then you will torque the two bolts down here. The final step is we have to make sure we torque all four bolts, the two bolts on our bell housing and the two bolts on our lower bracket here attached to our starter motor and they will be torqued between 20 and 25 foot pounds. I will torque these bolts to 20 foot pounds and check out my other video how to wire up your starter motor and how to get your foot starter operational in other videos. That is how you install your starter motor onto your 1947 CJ2A wheelies Jeep on your L134 Go Devil engine. Make sure to subscribe.